After completing your song in the GarageBand iOS app, the last step is to export your song to share it. In this video, we'll cover how to finish up your song and export an audio file. Before checking out this video, make sure to watch the rest of the GarageBand iOS series so that you're familiar with everything we've covered so far. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to keep up to date on all our new home recording content. To summarize our lessons on GarageBand iOS so far, we've covered how to use a lot of different features. We went over how to set up our project in the first video, then moved on to some virtual instruments like the keyboard, synthesizers, drums, guitars, bass, strings, and world instruments. We've gone over how to use the MIDI tracks and editing with the piano roll. We've also covered how to use external devices such as an audio interface and a USB MIDI controller with the Apple USB to Lightning adapter. After the tracks have been recorded, we've gone over how to use the mixing tools, effects, and automation to make our project sound exactly how we would like it. With our project complete, the final step in the GarageBand iOS process is to export our file in a way that it can be shared with others. To export our project, press the drop down triangle in the top left of the screen. We'll see a little indicator that shows my songs. This will bring us back to our file folder on our device, which will show us various projects. We can touch and hold on the project we've been working on. Then we can touch the share button. We're given a few different options for getting our song off our device. Option 1 is exporting the song as a file. Option 2 is creating a ringtone that we can use to create a custom ringtone on our iPhone. Option 3 is to export the project to send it to GarageBand on a different device such as your Mac. Sending it to a different device will maintain the entire multi-track project with all the different tracks so they can be edited in more detail on a computer. In our case, we'll be exporting the song as an audio file. Press the song indicator on the left. Now we get options for the quality of the audio that we want to export. My preference is to export the audio as a WAV file or Apple lossless format. That way, there is no decrease in the quality of our audio. If we're sharing the file online or with others, sometimes we may need to drop down to a more compressed file so the file size is smaller, but I do like to maintain at least a high quality when doing that. Down below, we can edit our artist, composer, and album names, and select a cover image for the song. Once we've set this all up, press the share button in the top right of the screen. We'll be given some options for how to get our song off our device. The file can be shared in different ways such as messages, messenger, OneDrive, or mail applications. One of the easiest ways to share the song is to use something like the Gmail app to email the file to yourself, or use a cloud-based storage app such as OneDrive. Once that's done, you'll have a file that you can download on your computer, use with other applications, and share. Thanks for checking out this video and this series on creating music with GarageBand iOS. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified about all our new content. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.